The first image from the International SKA Observatory's telescope in Australia has been released today. It marks a significant milestone as scientists try to get an unparalleled view of the universe. Dr Sarah Pearce is the telescope director and she explains what's been found. The image is of a patch of sky um, about the size of if you held up an apple at arm's length in your hand. Um, and what we can see in the image is 85 of the brightest radio galaxies in that area of the sky. So radio galaxies each have a supermassive black hole um, at their centre. And we can see the radio waves which are emitted by the gases that swirl around the supermassive black hole. Now, 85 galaxies might seem like a lot, but, um, but this is just taken using a thousand of what will in the end be 131,000 antennas in the telescope. And when we have 131,000 antennas, we expect to be able to see around 600,000 galaxies in that patch of sky. And you call this telescope that has given you this image a time machine. Can you tell us about that? So what this telescope allows us to do is look back in time to the period in the universe when the very first stars and galaxies started to shine. And what we hope to be able to do is make a movie of the evolution of the universe over 700 million years. It'll be the first time that we've been able to map the universe during that period of its evolution. And that's going to answer some big questions. What would they be? Well, one of the biggest challenges at the moment in physics is that we don't know what most of the universe is made of. For example, we think about 68% of the universe is made of what we call dark energy. But we don't know what dark energy is really or where it comes from. And so we hope by mapping the evolution of the universe, we can help answer some of those really fundamental questions. And as you said, this image uh, used a thousand antennas and you have some bigger plans in the coming years. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, so we're building the SKA Low Telescope um, about 800 kilometres northeast of Perth in the Murchison region of Western Australia um, on the lands of the Wadjuri Yamaji people. And what we're building is 131,000 of these two metre tall antennas. They look a bit like metal Christmas trees. Um, spread across 74 kilometres of the outback. And they will all work together as one giant telescope, which will allow us to see parts of the universe that we've never been able to see before. What does it tell us about the contribution that Australia is making here? Yes, yeah, so Australia is um, one of the host countries. This is the first time that Australia has hosted one of these large mega science facilities on behalf of the international community. So we've got about 650 people in Australia working on SKLO at the moment, but they're only a small fraction of the thousands of people from all over the world who've been working for decades in order to get us this far. And Dr Pearce, this will be presented to this audience in not too long. Is there a lot of excitement around this? Yeah, enormous excitement. Um, not so much because of what the image itself can see. These are all galaxies that we already knew existed, but because of what it shows us about the potential for the telescope. So the telescope is not just antennas. It's a big data instrument. So it includes very fast digital signal processing and software. And this is the first time that we've joined together all those different parts, which have come from all over the world to make one instrument. And so what this shows is really is a glimpse of the amazing images and the amazing science that will come from the telescope in the future. Well, good luck with that presentation, Dr. Sarah Pierce. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.